Jamie and Corpus Christi, Texas, which literally translates to Body of Christ. See more better here with ChristianEyewear.com. But call me Mo Mo Better because I'm going to have you seeing Mo Better, looking Mo Better, and show everyone else how I bring God's love and feeling back to glasses. When I cut for you, well, it's going to be the Zeiss Light D Digital Freeform Progressive Lenses in the Photo Fusion Blue with DuraVision Silver Anti Glare for your Christian eyewear. This is the. John 316 in color to the dogwood the 55 eye size the dogwood and gold now this frame comes with silver crosses or gold crosses on the temple and on the temple tip of course this is Christian eyewear designed in USA by me but I'm gonna take out the original sunglass lenses that come in this frame I went ahead and made the larger size of sunglass frame because I'm sure there's people out there who don't need prescription glasses but would love to wear these as sunglasses. And so, but Jamie needs these as prescription invisible progressive no line bifocal. So that's what I'm going to do them in. I'm going to put the frame into the tracing element of my blocker, program the shape into the computer 2911. You are secret agent 2911. Hit the start button. A little stylus is going to pop up. Go around. Trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at ChristianEyewear.com where believing is seen. And everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy any genuine frame that I offer and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number on there. So if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed. Now, you'll get reimbursed in full for your health savings account flex dollars. I'm considered out of network as far as insurances go, but if you submit the itemized receipt that I can provide to you upon request, you will get your out of network reimbursement. So I'm gonna move on to the next screen, which is the shape that I'll be cutting. I need to enter your pupillary distance, which is 36 for each eye. The computer starts at 32.5. I'm gonna tap the plus button till we get to 36. I wanna raise the optical center up to 27 which is what I've done his previous glasses for his previous Ray-Ban 2132 new Wayfair in size 55 of which this is influenced by except it does not say Ray-Ban on the inside it says the John 316 the Ray-Ban has a three barrel hinge the Christian eyewear all have a seven barrel hinge making it incredibly strong so I'm going to take the right lens out of the package and what I love about Zeiss is they document everything. Your prescription is on here. Your right eye reads Plano minus a quarter at 75. Again this is the right lens. It is the Zeiss Progressive Light D18 which is a longer corridor. The 1.59 is the refractive index of polycarbonate photo fusion blue. The DS that I just highlighted stands for DuraVision Silver which is the anti-glare code. And your prescription for the right eye plano minus a quarter at 75 plus two progressive power do the same thing well actually this is a block i need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting so i need two double-sided adhesive stickers of which i've got those here the black side is the sticky side i'm gonna stick that on the first block do the same thing now for the second one pull the paperweight to up 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 pull the come on now come on stay on there pull the paperweight to make the black side sticky Line up the magnet. Hang on, my wife's texting me. What am I thinking for dinner? Let's try this. Um, I'll call you later. Send. <laughs> We're going to go out for some sushi. How's that? Um, you guys know it before she did. So, the three dots that are on there, I will orient it on there. The blue cross is the geometric center of your frame. Your eye is just above that. So I'm going to lay this out here in just a moment. Hit this button. The arm's going to come down place the block on two of the right lens. We'll do the same thing now for the lens that ain't right, which I can identify with because I ain't right either. Again, the Zeiss Light D. 18, 1.59 refractive index, photo fusion blue, DuraVision silver, Plano, no power for the distance in the left, just the reading power. And the progressive pull the paper way to make the black side sticky line up the silver button same pupillary distance same optical center height as before 
get everything laid out as such and I get quiet when I concentrate don't I hit that button the arm comes down places the block onto the left lens now the other nice thing about Zeiss yes they put it on the paper packets but you're gonna get even a more thorough explanation here the reason why I switched over to Zeiss I was an Essilor man for years is that Zeiss documents everything I've met so many people who keep medical records and files and journals or in a Dropbox digital folder again this highlights everything this is the Zeiss progressive light D which is the brand in case your doctor asks you casually asks you what you're wearing hand them this they'll be surprised and again same thing as before the progressive light D 18 corridor 1.59 which is the refractive index the photo fusion blue the power for the right eye Plano minus a quarter 75 the strength of your progressive Plano sphere power of your progressive your pupillary distance the optical center height and again if you guys missed any of that let me recap so the <laughs> look at us say oh yeah these are digital freeform progressive lenses so there's compensated formulas for the distance and for the reading those powers are on there the laser engravings that are on every progressive the layout chart so if anyone from your doctor's office wants to dot the lenses up there's two little squares right there that have dots in they can lay that up to get the progressive height for you and I include all of that when I ship so for your records because again even though this is an invisible bifocal how do you know what you're getting if it's invisible you're gonna get all the manufacturers original packaging from Zeiss and Zeiss is a leader in precision optics since 1846 so this is the tracer this is the blocker this is what's known as the edger this is what's going to edge your lenses down until it's the final size the actual cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel that's going to act like a heavy grid sandpaper to grind away your lens material this wheel in the center that has that v-shaped groove is going to cut the v-shaped bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame i'm going to wake up the computer job id number 2911 2911 or as I like to say installment 2911 of my 330 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America spoiler alert stay tuned for episode number 330 million something crazy is gonna happen so these are polycarbonate lenses if they were plastic high index plastic or Trivex I would select that material but I'm gonna stick with polycarbonate because it's my lens material of choice and I'll explain why in just a little bit I'm not gonna polish the edge of the lens because it's not gonna be seen I'm not gonna put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens but I am gonna place a safety bevel on the rear concave surface of the lens and I'll explain why I'm gonna do that too I'm gonna press the sticker on there firmly place the magnet into the chuck or as I like to call it the Charles because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it Chuck have I mentioned free bad jokes with the purchase of every pair of glasses sold mm -hmm. so the door closes the clamp shuts the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame on the first go around and you can see as it's tracing the shape of the right lens and the old carpenter saying measure twice cut once is measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing of which Jamie you will have none with your prescription in this frame but I do cut very strong lenses all day long for free when you buy the frame and that's a little bit more critical with the higher powers now the water you see flickering in the back that's there to catch the optical sawdust that will come off the lens polycarbonate lenses cut dry meaning that no water sprays onto the lens while it is cutting unlike plastic high index plastic and Trivex that all cut wet meaning that water sprays onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle now water will spray onto your lenses Jamie but only on the last 20 seconds to wash away that optical debris but as I mentioned your lenses are made out of polycarbonate which is 40 percent thinner and lighter than regular plastic they are virtually unbreakable these are high impact ballistics grade lens material it is the same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel from flying debris it has 100 percent uva and uvb protection built into the lens we know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin they're in corpus christi where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin 
be a permanent sunscreen for your eyes, unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that have to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun. So now your lens is going to drop down to the bevel wheel. Now, with the photo fusion quality, now Zeiss invented the photochromic lens. They had the patent rights to it for seven years. Once that wore off, they sold the technology to different labs such as Essilor, which they branded as Transitions. But Zeiss had the Generation 8 technology long before Essilor. They also invented Anti-Glare, which they sold after their patent ran out. And again, Essilor branded that Crizal. Zeiss calls theirs DuraVision. Now, the DuraVision Silver that you got is three treatments in one. The first treatment is it reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain, but from street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead fluorescent lights and such. The second feature is it reduces reflection, so when someone's looking at you, they're not looking at the reflection in your glasses, so it makes for much better eye contact. Plus, if you ever take a selfie, you're less likely to see the phone in the lens. Now, the third feature, the practical side that I like, it comes with the industry's hardest scratch coating. Because the machine that applies the anti-glare takes over 24 hours to vaporize eight different coatings onto the lens so because of the time and the expense they put the industry's hardest scratch coating on there to protect your time and investment now i just opened that door with my mind i can do other things with my mind i can melt ice with my mind i can i just have to stare at it for a couple hours and then it'll melt so we're going to see if this fits first time around if not i'll have to take it down a little bit more i'm going to tuck the side the side I'm working on is closest to me. I'm not trying to reach across. I'm going to tuck it in the outside corner, push down with my thumbs. It was still alive. Come on now. Come on now. You know I'm more stubborn. You know, okay, I'm going to take it down some more. It doesn't want to go in. Good. That'll give me time to illustrate different features of the frames. Now, this frame, the John 316, comes in three primary colors. Black dogwood and purple you can get the black with either gold or silver crosses in both locations and of course the dogwood because jesus was allegedly crucified on a dogwood tree so i made that on there again christian eyewear designed in usa by me the seven barrel hinge the john 316 color two dogwood color three is the majestic purple because allegedly when jesus was carrying the cross through the streets of jerusalem the Roman soldiers put a purple scarf around his neck, so I named this one Majestic Purple because it's King of the Jews. And again, this one comes in a gold or a silver. Now, there's a smaller 52 eye size that corresponds that comes with a polarized clip-on. But I have the larger size as devoted sunglasses. And again, as you see, I took the dark lenses out and I'm going to put his prescription lenses in there. Is transition lenses that will turn blue excuse me photochromic photofusion transition lenses the Zeiss brand and again I'm gonna open this door with my mind take the lens out we're gonna see if it fits this time around it didn't fit the first time around so we're gonna see if it fits the second try tuck it in at the outside corners push down now it snaps in there so we're gonna do the same thing for the left flip that over to L, place the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby, or today I'm calling it the Jamie. Hit the green start button, the door closes, the clamp shuts. The lens again will be traced by two white styluses, making sure the lens is large enough to fit into the left side of the frame this time. And you can see as it's tracing the shape of the left side. Ding! You may turn the page. And then the old carpenter saying, measure twice, cut once. It's measuring the thickness of the lens to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. Look at that, Jamie. You got no edge thickness, none. You got a beautiful gold cross on the side of your dogwood. That's what you do have. So I'm going to take this block off. I'm going to go ahead and inspect the lens to make sure it is at the correct powers. Come down here to my dusty and trusty Marco 101 lensometer. And that is barely seen so i'm going to darken that so you guys can see that i'm going to put it in just over that black dot place that on 75 the axis wheel read the power and i am getting zero no power whatsoever that's because you need no magnification or minification for distance 
You need the smallest amount of astigmatism correction you can possibly have now. There is a stigma over the word astigmatism. It just means shape. It's like saying someone has straight hair, someone else has curly hair. You don't freak out when you hear that unless they were bald yesterday. But everyone freaks out over the word astigmatism. So, uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike or the letters P and F. And again, you have the smallest amount possible. So let's go ahead and measure that. And we end up at minus a quarter. One tick mark going away from zero towards the one in the red, the minus numbers. So that's because if you had zero and then you... You owed someone a quarter, you'd be 25 cents in the red, and that's where you're at. Now again, no distance correction, no minification or magnification, but you do need, that's why it's called the add. It means in addition to what's up top, this is the power of your progressive, the no-line invisible multifocal. It goes by many names. So if you were to get reading glasses, you would need a plus two to be able to see right here. The computer, probably about a one and a quarter, but for here it's a two. Now this frame and lens combination the frame with the invisible bifocal comes to 249 and that's the zeiss light d the d stands for digital freeform progressive lenses is a 249 dollar package the photo fusion blue which again comes in gray brown green or blue so when you go outside these will turn blue adds 99 the duravision silver adds 79 for a total of 427 tax-free the reason why I mentioned everyone that it's tax-free is that a lot of people on the internet are having to charge tax I am in North Carolina North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device and there's no tax collected on medical devices so that's why I don't have to charge tax on what I mail and ship no matter what state you are in it originated here in North Carolina USA God's green earth so I don't have to charge tax I do have to find your frame. I left it down here. So, I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corners. Press down the nose. It snaps right in. Let's go ahead and take this block off. Pull the sticker away. Use my hand-approved drying method. Throw that back in there. Add to my sticker collection. Come down here to my lensometer. The dot, there it is. I can barely see it myself. Let me darken that. So you can follow along at home. And again, if you guys missed any of that, let me recap. <laughs> so put it in over that black dot. Read the power. And I am getting zero. Net, no power whatsoever. Now, in the last few parts of final inspection, I'm going to measure your pupillary distance. 36 plus 36 is 125. No, wait, 72. I mathed wrong. Optical center height of 27. I, I was terrible on math. I flunked math so many times, I can't even count. <laughs> Come on, feel free to laugh at that. All right, I'm going to turn the card around, place the PD stick against my thumb. When I hold it up against your right lens, when we hold it up to the left lens, we're getting 72 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. Optical center height of 27, not to the bottom of the lens, but the middle of the plastic at the deepest part. We're getting 27 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. 27 millimeters man the kit is good so this is the the last step of final inspection is to get this in standard alignment but i always take a moment to explain to everyone that when you get these in the mail there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight however there is an 80 percent chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other that's because 80 percent of people have one ear that is higher than the other and because of that statistic 99 percent of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them so just stop by your local place tell them if it's too loose or too tight or high on one side they'll know what to do again it only takes about 30 seconds to a minute to adjust a pair of glasses perfectly but i'm going to set them down see if there's any Oh, the three-point stance is one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter, press down. There isn't a wobble. Now, when I say wobble, I take off my Philippians 413 with the magnetic clip on and press down. They wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. Again, I'm wearing the Philippians 413. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me and the black and silver because I have black hair with silver wisdom highlights coming in, so that matches every outfit I have press down there is no wobble close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly and they do that neither temple is askew check the tension on each hinge if one was tighter i'd loosen it if one was looser i would tighten it so they're matching now i send out a selfie request in every package 
I would love to have two selfies, Jamie. One with you indoors with these clear, one with you outdoors showing how these turn blue when you go outside. And of course, I'm going to demonstrate that. But I also send out uh, cleaning instructions, not only for your frame and lenses, but for the premium Christian eyewear cleaning cloth that I provide that has all of my social media and my saying, which believing is seeing. My logo, which is the wooden eye with the golden cross in the top corner, just like the sun's rays coming down. I've got Mount Calgary, where Jesus was crucified, and I have the three crucifixes there. Because Jesus was crucified with two other criminals. One went to hell, the other one went to heaven with him. But, but do me a favor, if you do post any selfies, would you occasionally hashtag me at Christian Eyewear so other people can see what they look like? I field test every cleaning cloth again to make sure that it works. So if you get this in the mail and you see the wrinkle, you know that it works, Jamie. You can't say that it doesn't. But again, as I was saying, I sent out instructions on how to care for your frame lenses. Not just that, but for the cleaning cloth that I provide, the Zeiss cleaning cloth, and how to care for your case. So it too will last you for years. One other nice... Well, I'll get to that later. So, this is what your lenses look like clear. I'm going to go ahead and expose them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light to cause the lenses to turn dark. Now, as you will see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for photochromic transition lenses to darken. It takes a little bit longer when you come back inside, 45 seconds to a minute, minute 15. Now, this is important. Everyone pay attention. All photochromic transition lenses will get dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks. The only time they won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car, your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day, and that's why they don't turn dark in a car. Now, there is a Photofusion Extra Gray that will get 30 to 50% dark behind a windshield. Now, they're also temperature sensitive, which is important since this is early August at the time of this video. They will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above. But I remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside, if you're miserable, they're miserable, nobody works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. We all work much better when it cools off. Look at that, the dogwood with the blue and the DuraVision silver anti-glare. That looks tough. See the world with blue eyes. The blue waters, the life-giving waters that God provided to us. Now, this color is great when you're outside. It just makes the sky vanish the intensity of the sun you still have the crisp colors of the trees and the grass and everything else around you now this color is coming you can see how fast it's turning back to virtually clear it takes about a minute to a minute 15 to do that you can get this the photo fusion colors in gray brown green or what you see here the blue and of course i have four different zeiss duravision anti-glare treatments to choose from the first one is duravision chrome which is the standard it's like Crizol Avance, but it sells for $30 less for $69. This is the DuraVision Silver. Very minimalist reflection. It's almost a silver blue anti-glare coating. There's also the DuraVision Blue Protect, which is $99, which has the blue light protection. If you don't get the Photo Fusion lenses, which automatically come with blue light protection. And then there's also the DuraVision Platinum, which is $40 less than Crizol Sapphire. And that has a bluish hue to it, a more pronounced blue. So... I want to remind everyone that Jesus loves you. And while you're thinking about that, can I just get a like? Jesus loves you. I'm just hoping for a like. Like this video. Give me the thumbs up below the screen. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell notification so you'll get notified every time a new frame with lens combinations becomes available. If you have any questions, just go to info at christianeyewear.com. You can also leave a question or comment in the comment section below. You can follow me on Facebook as Christian Space Eyewear. Instagram and Twitter as Christian Eyewear as one word. And of course, please do me a favor and share this video with other like-minded followers, believers in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, so that others may see the gospel of Jesus being displayed on every frame. I'm the only openly Christian eyewear company out there that believes strongly that there is the crucifix cross on the outside of every frame, not just once, but on the twice of each side. Now for women, that's not gonna be seen. Men like me with short hair, people will see that behind your ear. And you can see how these lenses are already back to clear. That's how nice. Again, these are the generation eight technology from Zeiss who invented it. 
other companies out there. Essilor does a better job of promoting it, but Zeiss invented it. And they document everything. That's why I'm switching everything over. So, but Jamie in Corpus Christi, Texas, thank you for your continued support. You've got numerous pairs for me. When I told him I was coming out with this collection, he couldn't wait to jump on this since he had worn the Ray-Ban 2132 New Wayfarer and size 55 before. I was greatly influenced by that frame, so so I had one replicated, although I did not put the shield on the front. I left that off. And again, these come with a three-barrel hinge. When I say three-barrel, there's two barrels on the temple. There's one on the frame front, and when you put those together and then put the screw through the top, that's three barrels. These have seven barrels. So you have four on the temple, three on the frame front, and when they go together, Essentially, you can drive over these things with a tank. I wanted these to be one of the strongest pairs of glasses out there to fit and accommodate everyone's lifestyle no matter what happens. When life happens, you come see me because I'm going to make the strongest pair of glasses possible. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. Jamie, thank you so much for the purchase of the Christian Eyewear John 316 Dogwood with Gold Crosses with your Zeiss Light D Digital Freeform Progressive Lenses with Photo Fusion Blue and DuraVision Silver Anti-Glare. And now hopefully everyone else has gotten a chance to see how I bring God's love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.